Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Fearless, and this is part 19 in my Powerful Tools of Affinity series. This time I'm going to show beginners an easier way to use the pen tool to trace something or to mask something. And I know more advanced people would say, oh, you should really teach them how to use handles and all this sort of stuff. And I'm not completely disagreeing with that. And I did do a tutorial on that once before. But I still think for beginners, and even myself, sometimes I find this way easier. And beginners could look at the results and see where the handles are, and then eventually learn how to use the handles. So let's get started. So I pulled in this Twitter logo from Stock Photos. I believe it was Unsplash, and I have the link in the description below. And I'm going to start, I'm going to grab a pen tool. And what I want to do with that pen tool is I want it to have a color that you can see. So let's give it like this is blue. So I think you could see red or orange much brighter and maybe two point, but we'll figure out later, point two, I mean. So what I'm going to do first is hide this. And I want to show you a little bit of a concept. Let's draw a perfect circle. So I'm just going to take this circle right here. And I'm going to lock that circle. Now, if we wanted, to, if this was a logo and we wanted to follow this, of course it can't be a circle. I want to show you that my theory, and that doesn't mean everyone, other people might give me comments and saying it's different, but my theory is a quarter of a circle works really well with the method I'm going to show you. So I'm going to take a pen tool now and go from here to here to here every quarter I'm going a quarter and I'm going to bring it back and now I'm going to go to the node tool and all I have to do even though it's rather than all trying to get that circle perfect the first time I'm just going to drag that up and you can see how a quarter of a circle is easy to try and match up so a quarter of a circle or less I just want to make that clear it doesn't have to be a quarter but it has to be a quarter of a circle or less and I'm going to get close up here and of course, I'm, I'm doing it very quickly. You get you could be more perfect with this. But that was my point, is if it's a quarter of a circle or less, you can get close to where you want to be. I could do that a little more, get right on the line. So now let's do it in, in a logo. Let's delete this and delete this. And now we're going to turn on this logo. So I'm going back to the pen tool. And remember to follow no more than a quarter of a circle. You might be able to do a little bit more, but I still advise on a quarter of a circle because I think it works the best. So I'm going to get a real close up here. And we're going to start right here. Let's start right at this point. And from here to here is less than a quarter of a circle. So we can go right, say, here and right here. And this might be a little more than a quarter of a circle. So I am going to maybe go right up here. And I'm going here. And I'm going up here. Now, remember, we have to, this is part of the circle. So we want to go like maybe here and here. I'm just going to keep making straight lines. Now, anyone could do this. You're just clicking at points. And you can move these points later on if you make a mistake. So let's do that and let's go down here and maybe I'm not going to do all the way. So I'm going to go maybe half, say right here. And that might be okay. And if I make a mistake, remember, I can always add nodes, subtract nodes and move them. But I'm going to go all the way almost to that curve right there and then right here. And this is a great way for beginners to start tracing. You can trace something or you can mask things. That's less than a quarter, so I'm going right to here and and here. And let's do that again. We're almost done. Let's go as high up as we can before we hit that top curve. And maybe here. And then say here and here. Doesn't look like much, does it? But now watch this. Now we'll go to the node tool. And once again, I can move the, all these nodes around, but I'm just going to grab a node and you can move them any way you want. And I'm just going to do that. And here, 
again, this is beginners. But whoops, I moved it. This is a beginner's tutorial, but you get to see how these handles are, and it'll help you later on when you want to be more advanced and not do it this way. But I find this way sometimes easier. And even on complex situations, this seems to work. So I am doing this very quickly here because I don't want this video to go on forever. But if you get a real close up, you sh we should get close up. So let me get a real close up here and see like this really should come out a little bit like that. And let's move this one out here and this one. And this is really, you can see how simple this is. Any beginner can trace something this way. Advanced people want to pull the nodes and the handles and everything. And I understand why they might want to pull that because they're so good at it over time. But a beginner needs to learn slowly. And this is, and that doesn't mean they shouldn't. Now, I might have gone a little more than a half a circle because I'm having trouble matching this up. What I might do here is I'm going to click on this line to add another node. And then I'm just going to pull this one down a little. And now I go here. And this one, we're almost done. And we're gonna, you're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you how to make this look just like the original when we're done. So just bear with me, stay till the end, and you'll see what I end up doing with this logo. And that's easy. And we'll go here. Let's go up here. And then this one. And this one, almost done. And this one. So, so far, that's pretty easy, I would say, right? And now what I'm going to do is click on the fill color. I'm going to match this color. I'm going to fill it. Okay, once I've done that, what I can do, I have a couple of ways. I can create this. I made this blue. But if I want, I can actually create selections. If you're wondering why I can't do a selection right now, it's because we're on the node tool. But if you switch this to a pen tool and hit selection, that becomes a selection. So you can actually select the original logo. So if you're masking, that's the way to do it. But I don't want to do that. I'm going to undo that. I want to show you that what I want to do is move this over. I want to get rid of the outline. And now I can go into effects and let me move all this over here. Hold on a second. Just like that. So now I'm in, so now I'm in effects. I'm going to go to 3D and I'm going to try and get it pretty close to what the logo is. And if you think it's a little too harsh, let's just go really wide. I can soften that a little bit. And maybe that's a little bit too much. But I think that's good and also I can change the lighting to be more what that lighting was. And look how really simple that ended up being. So if you're a beginner, I would suggest you start learning the pen tool. The pen tool is so powerful and it's really pretty easy as long as you do the line one line at a time. Later on, you'll learn here, you could take a pen and you go like this and then you curve this and you curve that. And you, you know, it, that takes a lot of practice. And I say in the beginning, don't do that in the beginning. Do it this way, and you'll learn that eventually. This color looks a little bit off to me, and I don't know why, so I'm going to just one more time maybe take a deeper color here. And it might be because, I think it's because I did the effects here. And so what I could do, let's see if this will work. On the shininess, I'm going to pick... On the shininess, let's pick the darker blue and see if that helped. There you go. So my shininess, instead of being white, I did the darker blue, and that made it a big difference too. So I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you did, please click like and subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.